After the First World War ended, things got a little bit crazy in the entertainment world, out with the old and in with the new. Americans were desperate to forget the horrors of the past few years, which led to the next decade being known as the Roaring Twenties. From New Dancers... This record is unique in that it features a distinctly new syncopated rhythm called the Charleston fashion, music, and the growth of a small district of Los Angeles known as Hollywood. By 1920, the new motion picture industry had established itself and was churning out films at a phenomenal rate. Here's a clip of the 1927 classic film Wings, starring Clara Bow and Buddy Rogers. Now, don't worry, we haven't lost our soundtrack. Almost all early Hollywood films were, of course, completely silent, just like the newly released film The Artist. During the films, an orchestra or a few musicians would play along, using their instruments to react to what was going on with the film. Anything from the clarinet player replicating laughter, all the way through to a trumpet player making horse noises. But what were silent films really like? I went to an event down in London to get the real experience. The event was organised by a group of musicians and named Kings of Silent Films. Patrons were treated to some comic film from Buster Keaton, Charlie Chaplin, Laurel and Hardy and some Felix the Cat thrown in for good measure. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. The performance is about to begin. <laughs> This is more or less what the cinema would have sounded like 90 years ago. Now, I have to admit that I have never ever seen a silent film before, but seeing these clips with the proper accompaniment really made these grainy black and white images spring to life. I asked the organiser, Emily O'Hara, what challenges the musicians playing that night faced. I'm very glad I'm not a piano player. I believe the main thing that they found difficult was the cues because they're very used to looking at their fingers and especially when you're doing stride piano when you've got those huge leaps in the left hand. But both of my pianists are fantastic rag and early jazz pianists anyway but it was definitely keeping an eye on the film so they had to know these films inside out. I gave them these films maybe a month ago and so they've been woodshedding it. So the musicians had to keep on top form but what was it like for those who did it day in and day out just to make a living? One of the musicians for Kings of Silent Film, Julio Schwartz Andrade, explained. And in those days, conditions that they had to work in were very, very poor by our modern standards. They worked in very hot cinemas, people smoking all around. They had to play for hours and hours and hours. It was, it was very difficult, so that technically and physically takes a huge toll on, on the performer. If anything, those guys who did it back then, they were heroes. They were truly heroic performers. With the film The Artist receiving critical acclaim from many reviewers, silent films are once again in the spotlight. Early actors were Hollywood trailblazers, doing their own stunts with no doubles and still managing to tell a story without any sound at all. The slapstick humour, physical comedy and thrilling stories still haven't aged over the many, many years and these films are still as fresh as the day they were filmed.